if you play Tarkov in duos, trios, you probably hear this a lot, right? You probably hear, is that you? Are, are, are you by the stairs? Is that you? And then you totally miss a shot out in the open on uh, an enemy and they're gone. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about some of the things that I do with my duo or my trio partners that help me so that at first glance, I can right away tell if that's my partner or not. I promise you after you watch this video, you're going to want to send it to your duo partner, your trio group, and just be like, you have to watch this video and let's just, let's do the same thing he's saying right now. So stick around. We've got a lot to cover. We're going to start on wearables. So these are things that you and your partners can wear. And this way you guys know each other apart right away. If you're zooming in on someone and from first glance, you're going to be able to right away know if that's them or not. So the first thing is from Ragman level one. This is available to everyone. It's just the armbands, right? The armbands are great. Don't get me wrong. Like when you put it on for sure, you can know like, oh, we're the green armband gang. But here's the thing you can only tell from one side right so it, and and the other thing is some people are also wearing the armband so as as good as they are because you can get them from level one there are a few other things that i prefer and yes you're gonna have to probably have the flea market unlock so wait until you're level 15 but these are i promise you are going to be your better ways of going about wearing something to tell each other apart the first thing I want to talk about is definitely face coverings and headwear. Now, I always say you should be using a balaclava of some sort because you glow so bright in, you know, Tarkov world. Like if you're not wearing it, your skin for some reason reflects the sun like you wouldn't believe. So it's always good to wear a cheap balaclava or like the ghost mask or a smoke mask and using something more unique that people don't usually use will make it so that your teammates stand out more right so you could use something like the neoprene mask which has flames on it but then your face is red and i think it's more like you're a target right one of my favorites actually is the respirator now the best part about these ones that i'm going to show you right now is you can use all four of these with a helmet aside from the shattered mask which kind of acts like a helmet but the the most important thing is you want to make sure that you can use these with some sort of headwear if you do want to use a, a helmet like i said so the respirator it still covers your face so you, you're not going to glare as much at all and let's be honest how many people are going into raid really with a respirator on right so if you and your teammates are going into raid you all have a respirator on it's going to be very easy right away to tell if that's your teammate or not it's even at a long distance say right so i like the respirator the the uh you know the uh the halloween mask here it's not too expensive or anything but i haven't done enough research while you're in raid to see how much this reflects light right it does. It looks darker than it is. Actually, it looks like it's like bright white, but it actually looks pretty dark. And I would love it if you guys take a look. But I, I think this would be actually a really good one to use. I don't I think it's going to be dark in raid. I don't think it's going to lighten up yourself at all like you would be without a mask. So the you know, the Michael Myers mask is really good. If you have a lot of money, the GP seven is fantastic. I really I just like the look of this, right? It just looks super cool not many people use it again but they are what 30,000 right now 25,000 so if you got you know if you and your teammates have some money it is a really good one and the best thing about these three items is you can't get them aside from the flea market so yeah sometimes they're going to go up in price sometimes they're going to come down in price but the best thing is they're not just available to anyone easily from ragman so you actually have to go out and want to purchase one of these and the chance of you running into someone in raid aside from you have to do that respirator task aside from you know you know one in a hundred shot that you're running into someone with a respirator you're going to be able to tell each other apart now the shattered mask is something you can buy from ragman but it's just a really good item and again straight away you can tell if that's your teammate or not now this one is a little iffy because a lot of people do use the shattered mask I would say less so than just regular helmets, but it, they still wear it. So, you know, if you want to use the shattered mask, everyone uses a shattered mask. 
You can use some of my tips later on to combine that with the Shattered Mask and it'll be good. But I think my my overall favorite is the respirator, to be honest. I think just not as many people use it. You're wearing a helmet, so you're barely showing any skin here. It's a really good uh, face cover that's that's dirt cheap. Now, some of you guys are kind of, I would say, crazy people because you believe maybe that helmets actually don't work and they're a waste of money. I, I'm totally the opposite. I think they've saved me more this wipe than any other wipe, but hey, to each their own, I'm okay with that. And if you don't wear helmets and you and your teammates are anti-helmet, you do have a couple of more options that I think are gonna be more friendly to you. And that is the three here. These are my two favorite for sure, the, de the Deadly Skull and the Boonie Hat. Now the Deadly Skull, right away, it's gonna cover your face. You're gonna be able to tell your teammate right away, it's dark, so it's not gonna be so bright. Uh, you can wear ears with it, so it's good. Uh, and you know what? The best thing about it is it's fairly dirt cheap. It's 5,000. You can get it from Ragman for 7,500. But remember, it has no uh, property, uh, no armor properties like the Shattered Mask does. The other one is the Boonie hat. Uh, this one is fantastic because right away you're going to be able to tell your uh, teammates apart just by the silhouette with a Boonie hat on. A cowboy hat is also another good one, but for some reason they sell out a lot now. So I would go with the boonie hat. You're not finding many people in raid with a boonie hat. So this is a, a banger option for you. And then if you want a beret, right, it's cheap. You can get it from rag, man. It, it's not a, as good. I don't think as the boonie or the deadly skull, but it is an option. Now I would stay away though from the Jason mask only because it is white and it does it's not like the the Michael Myers mask it, it does look extra white even on our preview um, and then this one's act, the Jack Pike is actually fantastic but it does have a downside now it, it's fantastic because right away you're going to be able to tell hey that's my teammate but you can't use ears with it right you can't use contact swords anything like that so I'd stick stay away from that because I think even if you're a crazy person and you are anti-helmet, you're probably not anti contacts or sword ins or some sort of earpieces. So that is my first one that I want to talk to you about. Now let's move on to backpacks. Backpacks are another really good way to tell your teammate apart because they are generally kind of bigger. And you know what? From first sight, again, looking from behind or on the side, the silhouette kind of thing, you can tell sometimes, oh, that's my teammate or that's not my teammate. So the the two that I want to talk about right now are the tri-zip and the beta backpack. I feel like these two, especially the tri-zip and the switchblade, to be honest, uh, these two are definitely probably the most used in Tarkov. When I, when I play, I generally see people with the tri-zip, the switchblade, uh, sometimes the attack too, for sure. And uh, sometimes with, you know, your your blackjack or or your couch backpack. But I would say more times than not, everyone has the tri-zip on there. So what I'm going to be telling you guys to use is something a little, a little more unique, right? Just like everything else, not many people are using it. Still, it's useful, just like the respirator. So we're going to be looking at this me mechanism backpack. Now, yes, it has a, a super kind of weird orientation on how things can fit in there. And I know sometimes you get screwed if you find a couple of guns, you kill a, a bunch of people. But more times than not, it's actually just going to be really good for your team because right away you'll be able to be like, oh, man, that's that's my boy. He has mechanism. No one uses that garbage. Right. And it's not that bad. Let's be honest. It's not that overly bad and for the price tag 45,000 with it can hold 32 where the tri zip is 46 yet it can only hold 30 yet again there the variation of how it is laid out of course kind of does screw you so if you don't like that one okay let's go on to something different then uh how about the hot dog backpack right some people do use it. I do see it in the wild, but not that often. And again, you still have a good amount of room for it, right? You're still having uh, 24 slots in there. And again, it is a very unique orientation. That's why it's not used as much. But 
I, I think it's, it's, it's a way for you to tell your teammate, Hey, this, this is me. It's, it is very unique. And then the last one I'm going to say is the Terminator again, diff, very different orientation, not as bad as the other ones I showed you. You're still getting 40 slots, which is good for 88,000, which is higher. Don't get me wrong. It is a higher price tag, but I think it is still a, a fantastic one. If you guys are rolling a little deep in the money, right? So let's just look at these backpacks right now. So the mech. You know, yes, it could kind of look like a day pack for sure, but a black backpack, you don't usually see that in Tarkov that often unless someone's using a day pack. And I think right away you'd be able to tell if that's your buddy. Uh, of course, the hot dog, like how can't you tell that's your buddy right from a back from afar? It's slim. It, it, I, I think it's doing what we want. And, and the, the goal is just so that we can tell each other apart super fast so you can make those decisions on killing someone rather than being like is that you is that you right you're losing precious seconds um the other one i wanted to talk about actually i didn't talk about uh was the gunslinger i think it's really unique and i think it's really good actually the gunslinger i didn't talk about this one and i apologize um it's only sixty-eight thousand rubles it does have uh, 35 slots, which is very reasonable. Yes, the orientation of it is kind of wonky. You know, it, it is super unique, but you still have a good amount of room to throw things in here. You know, most armors are going to fit in there. Uh, most guns, if you find two, like it's actually pretty good. And again, you're looking at it. It's a tan backpack. It's very different than the tri-zip or the beta. Uh, it, it's, it's definitely protrudes a lot, but you can definitely tell, Hey, that's, that's the gunslinger, man. The other one, oh, you guys aren't going to like this. I'm going to get rid of this. You guys aren't going to like this backpack, but it is more expensive, but it's definitely super unique. It's the Paratus. This thing. I know, I know. Hold on. Let me get rid of this. The Paratus is super unique it is expensive it's about seventy thousand rubles once you convert everything from dollars about 70 i think let me just take a peek quick it's 631 so seventy four thousand rubles uh it does have uh 35 slots so the gunslinger is still better for you know a less money but if you want something unique again the paratus will do that right? You just want to be able to tell your teammates apart right away. And that's definitely doing it. Um, one last thing before we get off and, and I talk about uh, another thing, of course, is I want to talk about using Ragman services. The other cool thing is all these backpacks are boomerangs. And that means if you insure them, I would, I would guess to say probably 70 to 60% of the time they're going to come back to you because they have this unique orientation and a lot of people don't want to deal with that. If you do insure these backpacks and because you can't put them, you know, you can't backpack section them, put them inside each other. Not many people want them. So if you do insure these backpacks, you're always going to have one probably in your insurance return and it'll save you money. They're just boomerangs. I'll tell you that right now. So the other thing I wanted to talk about was Ragman services. It's another unique thing that not many people think about when you're playing with teammates, right? So if you guys don't know, this is what you start off with as a bear, at least, right? I don't know about USEX. I don't have one right now, but more times than not, the upper body doesn't really matter. Let's be honest. You're covering it with body armor and, and uh, rig. So, you know, wear whatever you want. I always wear the flannel uh, because, you know, of course, hey, Canada, but the lower body actually does matter. So this is your base lower body right here. It's just, you know, your, your green uh, army pants with your high boots. But, you know, if, if you guys are all together and you all decide, hey, let's all wear something more unique. Let's say, uh, oh, wait, sorry. These are expensive. It's 3.5 million, but we all are wearing tan pants, right? So if you are all, all bears or all USEX, you guys can generally get something unique to each other and something that'll set you guys apart. 
you know, I, I want to wear the Mark's Work Warehouse pants, you know, or you can wear the, the, the bigger pants, the boots. Uh, I want to wear the green pants, you know, the super green pants, the other super green pants. I'm just saying that this is another way to make your character unique uh, to you and your party so that, again, at first glance, you're going to be able to tell, OK, he's not wearing the general you know, knee pad, green army pants. He's wearing the tan ones. So that's my boy. I know it's dumb, but if you use all of these little things, you guys will be able to tell each other apart so easily. Now I'm going to tell you guys one little trick I have about comms. I think comms are, are something that uh, when you're saying, is that you, is that you? And you're trying to describe where you're looking. Sometimes it doesn't work out the best. So I'm going to show you a quick clip from uh, the other day that we do as teammates that I think's a lot better. Gun up, gun up, gun up in the air, gun up in the air. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now I've played with people that ask you to lay down. If it's you, I have people that just say, Hey, is that you by blah, blah, blah. And you try to explain it. What I tend to do is just tell people gun up, gun up. Cause it takes you a two seconds to put your gun up in the air and B it makes no noise where if you lay down that sound of you going to the floor and then getting back up, not only are you losing stamina, but you are making that noise of going prone and then getting up gun up in the air takes you two seconds. You tell your teammates gun up. They put the gun up in the air. It's over, right? As long as it's up in the air, they're done. There are other ways to do this. I just find that it's the easiest and it takes them two seconds and then they can go back to whatever they're doing because obviously they're not seeing a person at this moment. But again, you can't ever, uh, you can't ever confuse someone because no one's really looking up to the sky with the, with the gun in the air usually. So another little, you know, cheeky tip that if you are playing with your teammates, you can use as a calm and just make things go faster for you. So the last thing I will talk about is uh, locations. And I am super guilty of this. I'm not going to lie to you. I guys, I am super guilty. Sometimes when you play with buddies and you're always playing with them over and over again, you guys have your own goofy call outs for locations like weather station. I call golf ball because well, there's a big ball on weather station, right? Or next to a uh, weather station there, there's the archway. I call that rainbow road. And a lot of people I play with understand that and know what I'm talking about because they play with me enough. But if I play with new people, guess what? They have no friggin' clue what I'm talking about. So mapgenie.io really helps the situation out just brushing up on the locations and their names. So if you guys don't know, mapgenie.io is one of my favorite websites. I'm not sponsored by them. I just think it's such a useful tool for anyone that plays Tarkov. But the thing we're going to look at right now is if you press hide all, you click here and it says locations and you can just see what the names of everything are so you know you know for sure that this is called resort but this is called bus terminal power station weather station arch we got sunken house we got gas station scav island like these are the proper names for these main points of interest and it's just a good way that if you're playing with someone new they're not kind of confused on what the hell golf ball is you know what i mean so sometimes it's just good to get the locations under your belt and, and the proper names so that when you do play with new people, you can make proper call outs. So here's what the team of you guys can kind of look like, right? The tan pants, you know, if you want, you can use an armband. It's just something extra. Hey, green armband gang. Uh, we got the respirator on, we've got the hot dog backpack. And if you all look similar to this, you guys are going to crush it. You guys will know right away if that's your teammate or not, because what's the chances of another team looking as goofy as this, right? If you guys have any tips that you use with your teammates, I would really love to hear them in the comments below. I think the more we share and help each other, the better we all are. And you know what? I make a ton of Tarkov content. If you don't mind, you know, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. It's free for you guys. It means the world to me. And until next time, I'll just talk to everyone later.